Uh, so let's um, – should we bring uh... – Yeah, let's bring him out. Okay. So Morito Lopez, who uh, with uh, SiriusXM, uh, voted uh, comedian, a comedian of the year, I think, or, or Candace Outstanding Comic. And there's an interesting story with him. So when we come back, and we'll go to some more of your your third songs. He's probably going to have some uh, Latino ones. I don't know if he likes... Uh, Speaking of Latino, yeah. you got to bring your uh, your girl that we had on from uh, our old days, uh, Priscilla, what's her name? Oh, Kelly Penn. Yes. Yeah, we probably should do that too. Okay. So when we come back now, now I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, from the commercial, that was really good. Uh, Morito Lopez, we're going to uh, watch some of his work courtesy of Yuck Yucks. When we come back, he will be in studio. Okay. Some of you guys are just like, God damn, this show is two hours long. I bet they ran out of comics, so they got a dishwasher from the back to tell some jokes, right? <laughs> like, I'm in the back, and they're like, we ran out of comics. Put a sweater on Hector. Follow your dreams. Shade of brown in the sea of white. Do you understand that? Somebody take an Instagram right now. Hashtag that beautiful brown skin doll. Okay. All right. God damn it. Even with the sweater on though, like I still look Latino as fuck. You know what I mean? Like I look like a villain from Narco right now. Do you understand that? Like a gay Pablo Escobar, what's going on? This mustache is ruining my life. Okay, because people look at me, they're like, oh my God, that guy looks like a pedophile, but he looks like he will get pedophile. This <laughs> is real. Buddy, welcome back, man. Dude, I don't mean to call you out in front of everybody, but you look like Stephen Harper if he was cool as fuck. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's the Stephen Harper I want, okay? A leopard shirt? Who is this guy? Okay, fly white girl? Okay, we're killing him. Oh, wow, my man. There we go right there. Marito Antonio Lopez, we bring him into the studio. I'll say, um, hola, mucho gusto, wey. <laughs> <laughs> mucho gusto, wey. <laughs> yeah, wey. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, man? So here's what I didn't know about you. A bunch yeah. of things, a bunch of things. Because we're going to learn everything there is and that we need to know about Marito here today. Yeah. Your family originally from where? El Salvador. El Salvador? Yeah. But you grew up Calgary. in Seatown, baby. Yeah, man. In Calgary. Cowtown, Northeast. So, Oh, in the Northeast? Yeah. What high school did you go to out there? Pablo Home. Ah. Yeah, Pablo Home High School, man. But see, here's the thing. As we all know, in the Northeast, it's like, that's where all the white people don't go. <laughs> that's where they don't go, man. <laughs> they, they, they yeah, go. it's yeah. all East Africans, Latinos, Lebanese yeah. guys, yeah. Uh, uh, East Indians, lots of Tons. East Indians. Tons. Yeah. Yeah. brown brothers up there. Yeah, Absolutely. man. We call it a little India yeah. up there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bomb. So, 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 how did you get? How did your family just did you, from uh, El Salvador? How did you get to Calgary? Oh, because there was a civil war over there. Yeah, so then, the refugees. Yeah, yeah, and then we we came up here, and first we came to Toronto, and then they were like, "Yeah, we're trying to send a bunch of like families to uh to Calgary because um it was like super small and there was a lot of jobs and stuff." So, so uh, opportunity, yeah. right? Yeah, sure. I was one of the first Latino yeah. families actually. Really? To, to live in Calgary. It was crazy. Because I, I, I experienced racism firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah. But, I was but, right there. But, but I'm thinking, so in Calgary, yeah. they would look at you and go, uh, what, yeah. are you? what are you? They ha Well, yeah. Because they don't know. I look Indian too, right? right. <laughs> yeah, I look East Indian. So like, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It was weird. For the longest, like for the first like 10 years of my life, I had like pretended to be white. I tried my hardest to be a white guy. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you have Do you have a white guy voice? Uh, yeah. Uh, a little bit, but it has to come out. Oh, it has to come out. It, it yeah. only comes out when I talk about, like, Joe Sackick or, like, <laughs> Patrick Wall or yeah. some stuff like that. Yeah, that's the only time it comes out. But and so, uh, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're in the Northeast. You're in Calgary. It's uh, Are you, you know, from there, too? 
I lived there for six and a half years. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I lived there yes. for a couple years yeah, myself. So you know it. Yeah. You guys oh, know it. I coached high school football at uh, St. Mary's. That's amazing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> My ex-girl used to go to St. Mary's. Oh, such a bad story there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good story, yeah. That's cool, man. You know, it's funny because in, in, in coaching football, and there were so many because it's a Catholic school, uh, you had a lot, a lot of Latino players yeah. and a lot of Filipino. Yeah. And I'm like, guys, we're... we're, we're my defensive end can't be five foot three. Yeah. Like, and, just, and, 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 they, and they work their guts out like they're the the greatest kids yeah. of all time. But there were some years where I'm like, man, we got to start recruiting. What happened to all the big Polish kids? Like, what, <laughs> what happened to the big farm boys? We got to make them Catholic. You but. know what, though, man? Filipinos on basketball teams are the greatest. Oh, they're the greatest at everything. They're incredible. They're the most talented people I've ever met. as anything. Yeah. It, yeah. It, the, the weirdness about how skilled and talented and. Polite, they're the new black people. Like, they're. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you? They're amazing. Yeah. The, we, you know, so you have the, the 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 talent contest, the music contest. Yeah, and these Filipino kids would get up there, and they're like, one sings opera, and the other one would sing like Rush. Like yeah. it was just, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, like the guy who sings for uh, for Journey, Arneel. Yeah, you know that guy. Okay. Like yeah, they're yeah. all up there, and they're playing ten instruments. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable, man. Playing. So, Playing basketball, break dancing, all at the same time. They're the best, man. <laughs> so, were you a sports guy in high school, or did did you did you um, part, were you one of these basketball players, football players? No, or? man, I could never really play sports. I, I like I always my friends always made the basketball team, yeah, uh, football team, uh, uh, rugby, all that. But I just never made it. Mm. Yeah, I couldn't do it, man. I've just never been physically like. <laughs> I I work out a lot, yeah. but I've just never. I play soccer, okay, but not like prof- that goes to football. Yeah, I See, love football. Yes, yes, I love it. Yeah, as in yeah. football. <laughs> yes, as we're saying. not soccer, not, football. Not yeah, soccer, yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. And so <clears throat> you're going through uh, high school, and and look, it's got to be a challenge for sure. I mean, uh, English your second language. Yeah, like, you're speaking nothing uh, about Spanish when you first yeah, go man. out there. I was in ESL for six years. Yeah, because I refused to learn. English, yeah. you just prefer you fuse. Just like uh, yeah, I was just like I can't do this. Yeah. But then, but then I I I be I went to university for English. The irony. You oh, oh that's a bit of a cheat though, isn't it, yeah. Marito? Speaking, I mean, well, because well, well, I want to be a professor, man. I always want to be a, like an English professor. And and uh, uh, so you, I, you went from one extreme to another. Yeah, I wanted to major <laughs> in Irish literature of all things. It was crazy. I had this Irish. weird, weird. That when I was in university. Those. Students. Is that Brett the Hitman Hart, by the way? That Absolutely. is Brett yeah. the Hitman Hart. Yeah. Absolutely. It's Calgary. The bobblehead. Come on. I love that. He, <laughs> that guy's my hero, man. Oh, man he's an I awesome met him guy. like four times in Calgary. Yeah. Yeah. I See, that's the sports he's been, I like. He's been, on our, he's been on our show many has he? times. Oh, yes, yeah. he has. Yeah. He's t- t- spoken in this mic? Uh, not no, that another mic. show. Another oh, show. Okay. Another, but almost every other show. He'll, he'll, he'll eventually will he'll be. He'll probably be on this one again. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's what he did to me, though. What? So we're, we're, we've been <laughs> friends, and we're all. And so I go out with this manager, and he's living out in sort of Artist Point, you know, in the West End yeah. there. And uh, he's there, and he's like, uh, "Hey, Mike." And I, and so I get on the phone. And he's like, "Hey, uh, do you think you could uh, uh, bring in my winter uh, or my summer uh, furniture?" Yeah. The fuck? What? <laughs> what? You're making me work for you now. I gotta <laughs> bring it in. That's what I did. I'm I'm taking his his summer lounge chairs and yeah. I'm putting them in a shed. And I go, how did that happen? Because <laughs> he's Brett the Hitman Hart. You do. He says something, you do it. He's the man. He's yeah. the greatest wrestler of all time. Now, so he's number one for you. Yeah. Dave is huge. Knows everything about wrestling. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> number one for you. Oh, it's close, man. Uh, all time, I, I'm a Chris Jericho guy just because wow. I'm, a, I'm a Winnipegger. And oh, he, he's my age. We went to the same college yeah. together in Winnipeg. Uh, kind of the same sort of era. He's a little bit younger than the Hitman. Yeah. Uh, but same sort of technical wrestler, right? Yeah. So uh, great on the microphone. Yeah. And uh, overall, yeah. And he's still doing it today, right? Yeah. So, but Hitman, Hitman was awesome. I actually used to work at Stampede Wrestling. Okay. In Calgary. But That's it wasn't, amazing. It wasn't the original Stampede. Yeah. It was like when Teddy and... And um, uh, which uh, the, the not well. Stu was already retired. He was he didn't pass away at the time, but uh, the kids started picking it up. So they started doing the smaller town. So I do a lot of ring announcing for them. It was a lot of That's fun. That's awesome. Yeah, man. it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Back in here's the cool thing too. Back when uh, no, I'm drawing a blank on the on the famous announcer. It's the booth is named after him. In oh the, yes, uh, 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 Ed. Uh, Oh, oh, that's true. So yeah. The Calgary friends are going to yeah. kill, <laughs> kill me for this. In between time and uh, raining, dong, dandy, yeah, yeah, like really, the, all that. Yeah. 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 So, so I went into the, into the old where the old where they had the the, yes. the wrestling matches, and there was a door in between. There's like a door in between the the, the dressing rooms. I'm like, yeah. well, what's with the door? He said, <laughs> well, one of the rooms is uh, good guys, 
and one is the bad guys. And they call them the good guys and, and the bad guys. They go, why is there door? Because sometimes during fights, you 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 switch to teams. That's you, amazing. Yeah, Dave Dave goes in and he and he's a bad guy. Something happens in the ring. Come back out again. And go. Just go in the Dave, other you're, door. You're a good guy now. You're a good guy now. Which pick the right door. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here's the one thing too, which uh, you know, we start talking about the 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 shtick that c- certain wrestlers had. Like uh, we, we love ha- the Ultimate Warrior killed me. Yeah. Just the interviews alone were hilarious. Oh, incredible. Just, uh, the, but. So I Ed Whalen, Ed Whalen, I I yeah. Ed Whalen, yeah. white no, hair, glasses. No. People are gonna kill me. Oh, yeah. But the booth in the Saddle Dome where they announce from Peter yeah. Marino. That, that's yeah, that's the that Ed Whalen, Whalen uh, broadcast. Uh, I never got to watch yes. Stampede yes. Wrestling. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Now, I've lived there now, my whole life. Now Ed Whalen was like the original. Brought, it, he was like the mean Gene Okerlin yeah. of WWF at the time. See, right here. Wrestling. There's Bernsey YYC. Yeah. Ed Whalen, yeah. idiot. Ed Whalen. That's awesome, yeah. man. No, that's. Yeah, uh, we should have known that but, off the top. But I didn't. So a lot of the newer wrestlers I didn't know, and I said to Dave, you know, um, there's a there's you know there's a lot of uh, Latino wrestlers, Mexicano, you know, yeah. the, 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 the Huge. luchadors, yes, luchadors. Yes. But then I'm thinking, this one guy, I'm watching it, and he comes into the ring, and he's eating fruit, <laughs> Carlito. I'm going. <laughs> Well, hold on, hold on, wait a, wait a minute. You got The Undertaker, yeah. you got Sting, you got the Death, you got a lot of guys with the shtick, and his shtick was fresh fruit eating? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a bit of a stereotype? Isn't that a little, you know? And his name was Carlito? Carlito. Uh, Carlito. <laughs> Carlito. Oh, you never saw him? No. No, they're like, oh my goodness, here they come, and the music went boom, 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 and it was like, you know, the peach or whatever. In the guava. In the guava. He's eating a mango. I'm going, that's not that intimidating. It really is. It, it really is not. The spitting might be, but everything that's else amazing. not that intimidating. He's eating a mango? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I always wanted to be a luchador. Yeah? Yeah, You man. got the mask too? Oh, uh, I, I remember I did a sketch once in, in high school, and I I had to like be a luchador, <laughs> yeah. and I was like pretty jacked back then. Yeah. And, uh... It was just super fun, man. Yeah, I, I Ray Mysterio is another yes, dude who yes. I love. Eddie Guerrero, man. Exactly. Latino World Order. Like Absolutely. I love that shit. <laughs> Guerrero, who's the one? Can who I swear on this? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. We're on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the internet. No one gives a shit. You can do what you want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Who's the guy who's doing all the movies now? Is that uh I see him. Is that what Guerrero was in in some a bunch of movies? No, it's not. Uh, Eddie Guerrero passed away. Yeah, but uh, I thought maybe. No, no, the big, the big, the big movie star is The Rock right now. Yeah. No, but the 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 Batista's in Guardians of the yes, Galaxy. He is. That's the who I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah, he's that's enormous. who I'm thinking of. He looks, yeah, he looks, yeah, he, he does. He looks cartoonish. Yeah, how big he is. The Rock but, still yeah. looks like. Yeah. but his acting right now is amazing. Uh, have you seen Ballers? You ever watched Ballers? No. Oh my God, well, The Rock is a good actor oh, right now. He, he should get a, really? he should get awards. He, he's like. Get out of no, here. No, he's the best. He is number, <laughs> number one in gross earnings right now for acting. That's amazing. I'm not yeah. joking. He is. That's why people are losing going, he's going to run for president. I'm going, yeah. well, fuck. Who can? That would be I mean, it's right open now. It's right open now. The Rock now. ran for president. They said right. in the polls he would win. I'm like, hmm, well, go ahead. Go for it then. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> it can't do any bad than what's happening right now. I know. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so for you, you're in the Northeast. You're thinking about careers. How, how does comedy seep into it? How does comedy get in there? Like stand-up comedy. Well, I just, like, when I was in university, I love reading and I love writing, all that stuff. But then I just realized I hate, like, edu- like learning about it. Like, being in school, I just, school wasn't for me. So I just dropped out. And uh, one of my... Uh, Good message, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, stay, stay out of school, okay. kids. No, no, but stay in school. But, uh... No, I just, uh, one of my friends, my sister's friend, he just kept posting, uh, and this is when Facebook just started, so he kept posting, like, all the shows that he was, like, open mics that he was doing in Calgary, and have you guys ever heard of, like, Comedy Monday Night at Broken City? It's, like, the biggest- oh, Broken open, City. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Biggest open mic in, in Canada for, oh, really? for stand-up, and, like, like Zach Alifanakis drops, uh, drops by, uh, just, like, a bunch of big names c- come up Very there. Very cool, yeah. Because a lot of, like, movies film out in, in Calgary, right? Puns. Uh, yeah, which is insane. I never knew they that. They use it for dip. Even Steven Seagal did for one of his ma- movie of the week, right? He made, yeah. he made one every week. Yeah. Like bullets flying and, you know, I would we, say. We love Steven yeah, Seagal we, here, we by do. the way. We're, we not, we're not making no. fun. But, <laughs> it, but it is true. He, it, he has made two movies since we started this interview. Oh, that's really? A, yes. that, that, yeah. That's how He's many. still making movies? Oh, oh yeah. every month he oh, makes a movie. That's hilarious. Usually like in Bulgaria or Hungary. Yeah, wherever they're going to host him. Yeah, the, and he, he's still killing it? Uh, well, we well, think he is. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, he's a little, he gets a little more tired now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of just the arm breaking, yeah. it's like he has to say, hey, uh, come over here and say that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't. 
He How old really... is he now? Oh Christ! Uh, I'd say sixties. It's hard to tell 60s. because it's got to be in the sixties because it's it's jet black dyed oh, yeah. hair. Yeah. That's so, so funny. Well, with spray, basically. Have so, him yeah. and Chuck Norris ever made a movie together? No, no, I but it's think. a hell of an yeah. idea. Yeah. Why don't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming up with all these great ideas and no one's doing anything about it. And Van Damme? No? <laughs> He's in there too, man. They have to. That guy was one of my favorites yeah. back in the yeah. day. Yeah, Here, here's something, and, and, and this is true too. Uh, also, Bernsey from uh, from Calgary, a lot of Calgary here today. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, former Calgary Stampeder, tried out for the team. Yeah. He Pract- tried out for the Practice team. roster guy, yeah. CFL because guy. That's he was amazing. a University of Miami guy. Yeah. And then was it a knee? I want to say yeah, it was a he knee. Was, he was also undersized for NFL standards. So he the went, Rock. Yeah, yes. yeah. wow. By, by NFL standards, he was. So he goes from the University of Miami. He was a Hurricane, and he comes up to Canada. Yeah. He was actually in Calgary for he a bit. Tried out. Yeah. Could have been a Stampeder. But he, yep. but he's NFL size now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Now he wasn't. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's massive. Yes, yes. yes. Also, uh, there was. Uh, there's been a couple other nice little stories in, in the CFL. I know um, uh, Roman Reigns was an Edmonton Eskimo for uh, oh, for a year. I love yeah. Roman Reigns. Yeah, I thought everyone's would... hating on him. Yeah, I, everybody's uh, hating on him, but well, I love that. Well, dude. he's a, he just can't talk on the mic as yeah. well as some other people, but he has the look, man. Yeah, I mean, man, he, he really does. He's crazy. Yeah. See, you, I also think, and this is this is having worked with some. You'd of the be other... a good manager. I'm by saying the, way. the same thing. <laughs> exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> you would be a fantastic manager. Yeah, you know, and it'd be like you could be all pimped out or whatever, and it would be like, but you know. And you'd have to be one of the bad guys. Yeah. I think you got to be one yeah. of the bad guys. Oh, I'd love being a bad guy. The you know. mouth of the north. We got the yeah. mouth, the of, mouth the of the north. We got the mouth of the north. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy, El grande, Jim, El grande Jimmy Boca. Quite a bit. Hey. La grande Boca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to shut up, man. Cayete. <laughs> <laughs> Bendejo. Yeah. Bendejo. Yeah, yeah. That's In fact, <laughs> we got a little something for you. Those, you know what? Let's just uh, take a break. Uh, we'll also want to get back to, uh, here's another, uh, here's one from Fernando Ferrone. And he wants to hear when the children cry. You were doing third song Fridays, the third okay. song that you find in a, in a strip joint. Yeah. So the song, <laughs> which strip joint? <laughs> Any strip. Any strip. Joint. Anyone. Any, Any strip joint. Yeah. So yeah. the third song is always the rug comes out, the yeah. blanket. Some people call it the blanket song. And so uh, here's one when the children cry. It is. I hate to say it. You think about that for a second. This is a strip club song. This is a strip club. A strip club. Okay. But yeah. the third song it can be anything you want. Yeah. That you think you hear now because of uh, our following. It's. Hair bands and big power yeah. ballads, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be that. It could be Luis Miguel. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> Luis I, Miguel. Luis Miguel. You never know. You know. I love how much you know yeah. about oh. that. Por qué? Por qué mi novia antes fue cubana? That's amazing. See. See, yeah, I was gonna say, he, see, mijito, he could do yeah. the whole interview, yeah. That's but incredible. I'd be, I'd be yeah. out of this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, what? Remember the game show we used to play, which uh, yes, when with, the, with the Tony ball, Fernandez. Yeah, Tony Fernandez was in there. Uh, Gracias Vasquez, yes, came in, and it was uh, oh, quién es más popular? Uh-huh. Quién es más popular? So we would say your name and something else. Yeah, and they started to figure out. The answer is always you. Yeah. <laughs> but but Tony Franklin, or, or, or um, uh, sorry, Tony Fernandez was always like, oh, no, it has to be uh, Jorge Bell. No, no. <laughs> we were looking for <laughs> Tony Fernandez. Looking for Tony Fernandez. You know, what is, oh, quien es más popular? Uh, Tony Fernandez or Mama Juana? Yeah. <laughs> you go, oh, Mama Juana. <laughs> no, Tony. Yeah, to- looking for Tony Fernandez once again, baseball player. Who could order the baseball? Tony Fernandez. You guys ever have any other baseball players in here? Uh, what ball player? Latino came ball in? player? Man, mm. Latinos kill baseball. Yes, they well, do. What's the percentage now, Dave? Oh, jeez, yeah, it's, it's got to be closer to seventy. Well, now. well, the thing is, mm-hmm. now when you, yeah, when you, when you break down like all nationalities, it's like Americans or North Americans in general are, are maybe thirty-five percent of wow. major league, forty percent of major league baseball. Everything else, Dominicans, uh, Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. I mean, yeah. well, and you know the invasion of uh, the Asian countries as well, yeah. Japan, China, Korea. That's you know awesome. what I mean? There's there's a lot going on. It's it really is a universal sport, like like basketball. Yeah. Basketball is another great example. You you take some of the NBA teams and you take them over to some of these club teams in Europe and Asia. That's a tough task over there playing yeah. internationally. And everybody has South America, some great basketball teams in South America as well. Well, that's what they were saying about uh, the, the black or they say, you know, Dave, the urban athlete. <laughs> we know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're not stupid. But that percentage of the black player in, in baseball is just yeah. shrunk. Yeah. The interest level yeah. has, has diminished. Because, because they're like, whatever. Uh, basketball, we dominate. Football, we dominate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and then you look at sports like UFC. That wasn't really. See, 
because there used to be the great black uh, boxer. Well, who boxes now? Yeah. It's all Latino. I mean, you're watching the 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 the, the flyweight, the middleweight, the middleweight. You yeah, know, you know, Latino uh, man. It's come on, it yeah. is. Oh, I do. I still miss the Oscar De La Hoya fights. Oh, they were the best. Oh yeah. yeah. Tito Trinidad was the bomb too. Yeah, it's just <sighs> I uh, love him. It was just so you know, and I miss the you know. Someone said, "Hey, did you see the the Klitschko fight the other night?" Oh, no, no one did. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, well, I who, did. And which <laughs> which Klitschko was it? Because you watch boxing stuff. Yeah. yeah, I watch boxing. Oh man, yeah. I, used I used to, to love ring an, boxing. I used to ring and ask for boxing as well. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. No, oh, you know, I only follow up to his stuff with about 85 percent. <laughs> I, I never, I never heard the last one. I never heard the last one. Okay, we're gonna be, when we come back, we'll talk more with um, Marito. Yeah, Marito Antonio Lopez. Yes, the uh, El Salvador. El Salvador. Yeah. You have uh, cuantos uh, hermanos and hermanas? Uh, una hermana y uno yes. hermano. See, did anyone know? What it, we'll find out what that means <laughs> when we come back. But if you miss, if you miss the what, what we would call a soap opera, but a telenovela, very popular on TLN, for instance. And do you remember the one with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Mire todos las viernes noche para nuestros amores de Maple Leafs and TLN. Me encanta el juego en hielo, un power play, oh, el sueño fiel que soy. Hola, Grabowski. Hola, Clark MacArthur. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. ¿Y tú? Bien, pero mira, el power play está muy mal. Sí. Un power play o esta mierda. Oh, hola amigos. Hola Matt Fratton. No me gusta pentejo. Sí, coño. Yo tengo un pistolo. Ay, Dios mío. Pistolo. Una pistola. Uh, pistola. Jake Gardner. No. Me encanta. Nuestros amores de Maple Leafs solo en TLN. There you go. See, the very that was uh, a classic. I gotta show my mom that one. Uh, it's, uh, my mom will love that one. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I hate that Kessler dude. You Kessel, you don't like? No, because I thought everyone. Uh, Loved him now because uh, because he's not here and he gave uh, he came did he come to the the hospital Yeah, he brought the Stanley Cup last year to the hospital. Yeah. I don't know. I I've, I've you're not buying I've, it, Marito. What I've, do you mean? What happened? I've never been a big Phil Kessel guy, Boston. I called him Kessler. That's how much a nut of a fan <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was assuming that you were talking about Phil, but yeah. no. Last year when the Penguins won the Stanley Cup, he he he. I guess uh, you know made up for a lot of things that. Toronto media said about him here by bringing the Stanley Cup to the sick kids hospital. Oh, so did he? Really good gesture. Oh, see now, so, well, see now you so got now it's That's kinda, so amazing. It, it's hard. It's hard hating on yeah. that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But oh, I guess, it's so hard hating I guess on that. The player, the player, watching the player and the talent that he actually has on the ice, he still comes across as a really lazy player. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like he's he has a talent ability to hit this level, but he's satisfied to. Stay right here at his thirty goals yeah. every year, where you know there's can more. Do so much there's more. more in the gas tank, and yeah. I think that's what pisses people off. Yeah. Now, have you thought about a third song? Have you been thinking maybe because well, because well, we'll go to another topic, but well, but Russell's there; he's going to find it for you. So, like, if uh, you're so saying, slow if I'm at third. a if I'm at a strip club, yes, yes. which is usually Fillmore's for me. Okay, okay. Good for you, yeah. very nice, Fillmore. Uh, <laughs> I, I, Tron, <laughs> Toronto's party place. <laughs> <laughs> I would li you. You're asking me what song I would listen to, yeah, so or what? Well, well, when the girl comes out for the third song, yeah. that's the slow one and the uh, the you know. slow one. Yeah, there's never Fillmore's is never slow. Yeah, the third song. <laughs> <laughs> Marito, have you even been? <laughs> I love to see the uh, mujeres calientes. You want to know why though? It's all hip hop there. It's super right. hip hop. Yeah. So what? What would be? Uh, what are they playing for the third song? Then is it? A oh man, I'm trying to think of a slow hip, -hip hop. If song. Because I guess I guess traditional mm. traditional strip. Oh, Spotty Adi Dopalicious. If I wanted to see a stripper dance to that, I'll catch. I don't even know Spotty what Spotty Adi Dopalicious. Is that English? <laughs> 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 I don't. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I mean, <laughs> so is, does Barney sing it? I don't Yo, know. I don't know what that uh, was. Spotty, Adi, Dopalicious, 
And it's by Outcast. 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 Oh, that would be an amazing song for a stripper to dance to. There it is, there right, it is there, right there. Yeah. Oh, you already. There it is. How right did you know there. how to spell that? Okay, because he's, he's, he's that's ninja. amazing. He's he is ninja. doing Ryerson so proud right now. This with, guy, <laughs> this with kid, the, man. With the is spelling. He, how old are you? Oh, I, ah! huh? <laughs> that's what we ask him all the time. Right? <laughs> just, I knew it, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you really, you really yeah. thought he was fourteen, though, yeah. right? You, he's well, like a, it's no. crazy because you're taller like, than and bigger yeah. than me, but like he's like our Doogie Howser. No. He's, uh, you're thinking Quincy Daniels. <laughs> that's what you're thinking for <laughs> sure. 15. Absolutely, yeah, he just yeah. had his quinceanera. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear this. Uh, this is uh, for Morito. This is uh, if I was at a strip club, I would love to hear this. This is Cancion Numero Tres, <laughs> and for him, here we go. Do we got? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Is coming out today? See, because he can't even hear it. Oh. Yes, it is. Very right? Okay. right. Yeah. Classic hip hop. <laughs> you know the song? There you go. Oh, man. You don't know see, but, see, see, but, see, but then, but then, if you're listening, because I'm going to call it a script club now. Yeah. Now it's a script club. <laughs> but I'm hearing that. Yeah. Because no, you don't go to the ones in Calgary. You don't go to. Uh, oh, no, nah, man. Oh, I hate yeah, the no, ones in yeah, Calgary. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. you sp spend a lot of money. I'm like, what am I he doing here? That that honey can just cost me twelve bucks. Yeah, <laughs> the girl just I think just stuck out her tongue at me, and yeah. I don't like the throwing of the coins. Oh no, I don't like that. That either. is weird. It's what do you weird, What do you man. mean? What do you mean? Explain. Explain. They, you throw like a loony at the at the girl. Oh yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 That's uh, concho. Yeah, the concho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or no, it's paloma. That's paloma. How we say it. Mexicans say concho. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I learned. Yeah. But but you you're uh, uh she was Cuban right yeah so I speak sometimes everything's like oh yeah do you smoke cigars ever oh do we <laughs> siempre I love cigars poros uh, me encanta poros yeah oh, I yeah. love them yes. man I'm obsessed with when them. we go like so if you go to some sort of uninclusive place and and I always do the same thing so I go to the bar and uh, they're all working there and they're like you know how are you doing nice to meet you blah 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 and, and I always talk like a very white person yeah just to make sure. <laughs> They're fucking talking about me. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I said, I, I would love, a, do you call it a uh, a rum and Coca-Cola? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cuba Libre? A Cuba Libre. That's an interesting name yeah. for that drink. Yes, I'll have one. <laughs> and then if a year, Maricones, you know, yeah. I, you know, I said, hey, hey. <laughs> Did you, you call them out? Oh, oh yeah. Always. Or then I, I then just start speaking to them. That's hilarious. Like I'm their hermano. Yeah. And they're like. That's not very nice what you just did. That's <laughs> not very nice what you did there. But I sit there and I smoke, you know, for like a week, and uh, like hunt, just one after the other after the other. Me encanta puros. I love yeah. them, man. Yes, I'm obsessed with them. Well, El Salvador has uh, there, there's an industry there, is there not? Uh, there because okay Honduras cigars. there is for sure. Nicaragua has Nicaragua, the best yeah, cigars yes. in, in yeah. the world yes. right now. They're like the new Cubans. Yeah. They're amazing. Well, they produced yeah. for a long time. Everyone had to get out of Cuba yeah. when when uh, Fidel said, uh, "If you stay." <laughs> I ain't gonna kill you. That yeah, what he, that's yeah. what he said, eh? Yeah, that's, yeah. Well, basically. <laughs> oh my God, Diego Oh yeah. On there, Rage Against the Machine, and uh, what was the Battle of uh, Los Angeles when they went down and they went down and played in Mexico City? Yeah. That was a crazy concert. Yeah. Love you know, that music. I I love Che Guevara. I yeah. love him. Yeah. Right, but um, I bought this shirt because it's it's him. But I've never really listened to Rage Against the Machine, and I'm a huge hip hop guy. Like I'm, I Ra love hip hop, R and a lot of I thought that I always thought that they were just rock. Right, I'm not really a rock yeah. guy, but uh, a lot of my boys, they were like, "Yo, man, uh, Rage Against the Machine, they cover so much hip hop. You'd love them." It's it's a it's a massive influence. I mean, yeah. th that music, and I just you know, it's it ultimately at that time this really angry <laughs> cross between uh, like a rock and a hip hop feel. And they're Latino and Latino, very political. That's they're amazing. Political. And I just, I mean, that 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 first album was just uh, crazy. Now look, um, we still have not talked about the the transformation yeah. from uh, the student yeah. to the comedian. Yeah, how's that happen? Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, I was at university and um, yeah, man, I just I, I didn't know what I, I wanted to do, and like Calgary's, you know, as you as you guys know, it's so professional. Right? Yes, like you have to get a job yeah. out there, like <laughs> yeah. a good job. And for the most part, there are lots of them. <laughs> yeah, like you can find a job in Calgary. Yeah, usually. Yeah, and but like here's the thing though. In in Toronto, I work at a catering company, and it's fine. But if I worked at a catering company in Calgary, 
people would look at me like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, Why don't you? you go get a job at the, in the oil and gas industry or mm. like finance or whatever, yeah. whatever? Yeah, people think that's easy, though. People are like, you should work in oil and gas. Yeah, everyone should work in oil and gas. Not yeah. now. Not right now. Not right now, but like. But. but yeah, and I was just like, man, that, that, that's not for me. And I always wanted to be an actor or anything like that. And so I saw that guy, my my uh, my sister's friend was posting the statuses that you want to go do stand-up. And I always thought stand-up was like sort of lame. Like I loved it. Obviously, I love Chris Rock. I love Eddie Murphy. But I always want, like I didn't think it was cool. Like I thought it was cooler to be a rapper or like a, right. uh, an actor or whatever, like a Marlon Brando, Pacino. Like I love that shit. Yeah. Right, but then I'm like, you know what, man? I've always been like a funny guy, so I'm just gonna like go and try it. And then I I I I practice for a month in front of my friends, and that's what the guy James Moore, the guy who runs uh, Comedy Monday Night, mm-hmm. he told me to practice for a month. Then I went and had a great set. By First the way, set. you just got some love, Yuck Yucks in Calgary. Uh, oh yeah, we love, we love, and, and this is your uh, this is your new one. Yeah, F Marito L at Mar- at F yes. Marito L. Yes. Fuck Marito Lopez. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, yuck yuck Calgary, man. Yeah. But after after uh, um, my first set, I bombed. I swear to God, for two years. Hard to do. Yeah, people don't bombed. understand. It is tough. Yeah. Bombed, man. And and I just became obsessed with it because I've always been a, like a naturally funny guy, so I didn't understand why it didn't translate to the stage. And then I just that's what, where I learned. What that made this you is keep an art. going out and out and out after after some I guess roller coaster? Uh, I don't know, man. Shows. I'll be honest with you, like because a lot of times, a lot of times yeah. you can only take so much punishment before you're like, you know, this may not be for me, right? I I, I thought yeah. it, I thought it was gonna work out, yeah. And I don't know, man, because uh, I my I got my ass kicked in comedy, like my ass got kicked. <laughs> Like I I I've been through the worst shows. I've been bomb. I bombed in front of like hundreds of people. You know what I mean? And no, but like, do the other comedians come and go? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've had like headliners <laughs> come up to me and be like, "Bro, what the hell? What are you doing up there?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Fuck." Yeah. It, it's brutal, and I don't know. And I honestly like thought like I haven't really thought about that, but I don't know what kept me in there. Do you know what I mean? I guess it was the, just like this, uh, It'd be some... easy to give up. Maybe it's just not in. Yeah. Like I, I'm looking at uh, right now, uh, John uh, Luguizamo. Yeah. And oh, I, I love him. And I look at you know he's got that one man show that he did, and yeah, it freak. is it is fantastic. Yeah. See, that's really what got good. me into comedy because I think that you could be. I think you're this kind of guy. I yeah. Think. Freak for me. man. Yeah. Freak. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Oh, classic. Yeah, because it's like it's 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 a mix of what I've always wanted to do, which is acting and comedy. And he, and like, he does the both in that. Both of them, man. And he kills it. He's so funny. He does this one piece, if you haven't seen it, and he starts, to, because he goes through like his life, and he starts talking about the movies that he's been in, and he talks about, um, oh, when he plays uh, Benny Blanco from the Bronx. Yeah. And Carlitos Way. Yeah. And he, he talks about, because because uh, Pacino's supposed to be playing uh, uh, like a Puerto Rican guy. Yeah. He's not Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> so he's doing all the, his, uh, his uh, Latino stuff. He goes, so it's like action. He's like, who is this? And he goes, hey. You know, he's doing all these little sounds. Yeah. I'm Benny Blanco from the back. You know, he goes, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what, what? And he's doing the voices and shit because he doesn't get how they talk to each other from a guy who probably is supposed to be Puerto Rican on the streets. Yeah, that's so, so funny. But, and I thought, Al Pacino. <laughs> what, a cool, what a cool thing with all the pictures and the moving around. Yeah. And I said, that could be, I mean, comedy's got to be from the heart or you, it's, you're faking it or it's oh, no good. Oh, big time. I mean, yeah. look at uh, you know refugees from from El Salvador. I mean, uh, mom and dad, or just mom? Both. Both, yeah. right? So they're working whatever they can. You're not even speaking English. Yeah. This is where I think you know that that kind of pain and everything else. Yeah. That's personal. That's yours. That's your story. Yeah, man. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that's what kept me in it is because like, I don't know. Like I I feel like I have to, because there's not any Latino comics, man. It's just me and Martha Chavez. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah, and it's just us two, and then we—it's it, pretty cool when you think about it, because we 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 literally are the only two, like professional paid comedians in Canada. You're in saying in Canada, yes, yeah. So do you do you cater to a, to your audience, like your people, so to speak? Yeah. Is that is that like uh, a great foundation of when you go out and you know you know you're good in certain spots and other spots? You sit there and you go, okay, I got to break this audience. Is does does that work for you? 
Well, yeah. Like, like, we, I, like, for example, we've talked to Russell Peters. Yeah. Russell Peters yeah. is obviously universal now, but there was a time when Russell Peters could only talk to, uh, or only, uh, not not t- only talk to, but but come across to his audience that, that would go anywhere he would be playing, and yeah. those are the only people that would go. Yeah, well, um, I well, because I, wor- I worked with Yuck Yucks for a while, and, like, Yuck Yuck shows are very, like, uh, you know, clubby. Yes. So it's very ju- clubby. it's like a lot of people who don't really follow comedy, but they like going out on a weekend or whatever. And I found that my audience, I I sort of like started catering, yeah. pandering yeah. a lot to uh uh like white audiences like in Calgary and Alberta. Okay. Yeah. And so my act was weird. And when I first moved to Toronto, which is a very multicultural, very urban, yes, you got uh, everything, everything. Yeah, like left, um, uh, city. They they sort of they were looking at me like sort of like oh man. Like, take it easy on the Latino stuff. Like, we get that you're Latino. <laughs> but, like, talk about your life. Like, how you were saying, mm-hmm. right? Like, talk about where you're from. Uh, not just, like, stereotypes, though. Just talk about who you are. But, see, that's because... And cause it challenged me. Because when you get into, uh, you know, uh, we were talking about the last comic standing. And we were talking with... Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it was Darren Frost. And so uh, we were saying that, you know, that fan who won that one time. And it was every, everything, if it wasn't based on a Vietnamese accent or about... You know, doing the nails and, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. He had no material, uh, none. Yeah. It was only him doing the the accent. Yeah, yeah. And that and the diet. You, you can't find him anywhere now. Yeah. So it, it, there's got to be. You still have to have material. Yeah, you have to have yeah. something. Like you like so so uh, George Lopez. Yeah. Do you look up to that and go, uh, you know, is is he someone because he became such a huge. Uh, influence in, in terms of getting his own uh, sitcom and stuff like that yeah. or do you look at it and go I don't really relate to that I don't really relate to uh j- like George Lopez but I do I I think it's amazing that like l- 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 Latino actor Latino comedian who has a like a Latino television show Huge. that's yeah. that's like a dr- that's amazing yeah. right like that's like some Cosby shit to me you well, know what it, I mean? well to that to to, to that f- you know what I mean I think for Mexicanos and stuff like it, it he is yeah you know what I mean yeah. like well and uh but Here's the thing, though. Like, I've never had a Latino comedian that I've looked up to. Like, I look up to, like, Richard Pryor or uh, uh, Chris Rock or uh, um, Bill Burr, which is Bill weird Bur- to Bill me. Bill Burr is fantastic. Yeah. He's one of my you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There, I, I have, like, Freddie Prince. Freddie oh, Prince from, amazing. like, back in the yeah, day. Yeah. But he killed himself, like, too early. Right. He, he was so young when he committed suicide. Yeah. It and was he, heartbreaking. Yeah. And he's Puerto Rican, and I love him. Yeah. But I guess, like, if, if there's a guy who I look up to on that level, it would be Lucas Amo. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he was great. But so, he's really not a stand up. That's the thing. He's a comedic guy. Well, yeah. he was a comedic because he can do a serious role and be uh, like a badass. Like he can yeah. do a lot of uh, different roles. Yeah. I think he's a very talented guy. Yeah. It's funny bringing up Freddie Prince too because you know his kids we watched it was uh, Chico and the Man was the name of the yeah. show that he was and mm-hmm. people so in his son Freddie Prince Jr. like oh you should you know Freddie Prince Jr. he's so uh, handsome. I hated him. So Wop- I'm going. <laughs> you think that's handsome? You never saw the dad. Yeah. You know, I that hate, guy was Wapo. I mean, I, that was, uh, whoa. I hated Freddie Prince Jr. No, I, I like, and then I found out that that, uh, that that was, he was Freddie Prince's son. I was like, wow. It's disappointing. I didn't know that was crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that his dad was probably one of the, he could have been one of the best. One dad, of the though. greats. One of the greats, but then, yeah, One of man. the greats, so but, sad. Uh, that, that's like, that's, well, I actually, you know what, though? Um, to answer your question. Yeah. Uh, this year, it wasn't until this year that, uh, I've had, because I headlined Yuck Yucks this like three weeks ago. It's a big deal. Yeah, and yeah, headlining Yuck Yucks here is big. That, yeah, that is so yeah. like big, Toronto yeah. challenged me to like tell my story, and I'm like a very hip hop guy. I love hip hop. I I uh, um identify as a hip hop head more than as a Latino. To be so with you. so white snakes not in your car. I don't even know what that is. What's a white snake? <laughs> <laughs> White Snake. <laughs> what else is there? Uh, uh, like a like Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Def Crew, Leppard, like all that stuff. Van I'm like, I have no idea what that okay, is. Okay, just before, I'm like, if the, okay. if I went to a strip club that played that, I would leave. Can okay. I be honest with so, you? No, okay, <laughs> the third song. So find I- I- is this love? Okay, is this love? Find that video and, and while we're talking, and, and when you have it, we'll come back and I'll show you White yeah. Snake and and what the, what the white boys were, were watching for a third song. <laughs> white Snake, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, White Snake, yeah. So who's your favorite hip hop artist? What are we talking about? Uh greatest Jay Z. I love Jay Z. Yeah, but de- but yeah, man. Like I I started like telling jokes to like uh, people who love hip hop. So like a lot of Filipino people, um, black people. 
like uh you know like everybody i felt like i wasn't pandering anymore right. i was just being myself and people were like oh this guy's just cool but this but then this past uh uh headline weekend i told I, I usually like I'm like yo where are my Latinos at and usually it's silence and then that, that gets really? a laugh. So it's not it doesn't uh, even get a. But but it gets a laugh because yeah. it's like there's no one right. Yeah. But there was like every show there was a table or two of Latinos of uh, Salvadorians. Yeah. Well, like, the following they, wa- they following want, they wanted yeah. to yeah. follow you. Know, that's then, what I'm, that's and what, then they yeah. came uh, uh, these these four. His name is Raul, by the way. Uh, he came with a. He brought his family, man, and they brought a Salvadorian flag See? Oh after the show. And I was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> I never asked for this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, well, that's I, not, it's organic. But now it's just say. coming. Good and for it's, you. It's it's amazing. That's and it. it's see, like, see a lot of a lot of countries that okay, just like you said, Canada is a is very a, a, a melting pot of yeah. all different sort of countries throughout the world. And I even found this when we used to promote boxing. When there we had we had an El Salvador boxer that was fighting out of Winnipeg and we'd tour across Western Canada and there would be flags and they they would hear this guy is it now you don't know him from Adam you don't know who this guy is but you know what country he's from yeah. and the support was genuine and wanting to see one of your own oh, your own. yeah man like I'm I'm married I'm married to a Greek woman in a beautiful Greek family and Mike knows this we go everywhere and it's Greek pride Greek this Greek yeah. flag Always. go this go that and it's just it's and it's, they still love Canada that's why it's still yeah. it's not like they're choosing one over the other. They love being in Canada. Exactly. They love being Canadian. Exactly. But their Greek heritage and there's, is and there's, so important. And there's a lot of other countries that have this same sort of heart and support. And that's why I'm saying when you when you go to different clubs, I could really see that you know other Latinos uh, would would want to come out and see you. They don't know who you are, but yeah. they want that support and proud, because of, proud of you and, and proud of what you're Dude, doing. Cause yeah, and you're it was crazy. you're them. You're yeah. you're their their you're their voice. You're yeah. their guy. You yeah. know what I mean? So I don't know. It's almost like in a sense you're almost your own olympic game so to speak because every four years or two years depending on what what sport it is you go out and you watch sports that you have no idea about but as soon as a canadian flag comes out or an el salvador flag come out you mean to tell me you don't feel a little bit of pride knowing that jimmy over there did something good for his sport even though you don't know who the hell he is yeah exactly so Uh, but and but you know what man and i've started feeling that way about canada because like uh, I don't really follow sports, right? But when I every time I see a Canadian team, especially in hockey in the playoffs, I get pumped, man. Cause like, that's our sport, man. There you go. And we need to win a cup. <laughs> Not this year, though. Uh, the uh, Penguins won last night, so we got a yeah. Pittsburgh Nashville Stanley Cup final. But yeah. this would sound good, I think. You know, because of the name you have, if uh, you know Marv Albert going. And in the red corner from El Salvador, weighing one hundred and. Oh, are you talking about uh, like if I was a boxer? Pounds, yeah. Mar- oh. Marito. No, can Antonio I do it? Can Lope, I do it? Do it. Can I do it? Yeah, do it. Oh, man. Right. if I, right. I've i always wanted to be yeah. a boxer with my name. Let's, okay. Let's see it. And, 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 in the right, and in the right corner, weighing in at 128 pounds, uh, Marito Antonio Lopez Duran. Junior! Oh, is that the best? He's all pumped now. the greatest boxing name? Although that intro... Yeah, it's gonna bother some people. <laughs> <laughs> Bug me because, because when when Michael Buffer does it, who is is a white older gentleman, he goes full Latino in his pronunciations, oh, yeah. and he sounds like he's <laughs> from <laughs> he's from the country. It's yeah. time. <laughs> oh yeah, so, oh, I would like to see that. Uh, That'll be a little okay. Quick, 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 hold on. Okay, go ahead, Mike. Just okay. Let's. Uh, it is a third song Friday, so uh, and you're not going to be able to hear this, unfortunately, when I put this down. But here comes, here comes White a classic Snake? one. Here's White Snake. Are we ready to go? Okay, hit this. Here we go. Here's uh, here's this is an ultimate uh, third song right here. Look at the hair. Oh my God, the hair is so good. That's me. That's me. And then you're going to see the crazy girl. What, what was her name again? Uh, Tawny Katan. Yes. Tawny Katan. So Chuck he's Billy seeing this girl at this time. Yep. She eventually goes nuts and starts dating Chuck Finley and yes. then takes her her <laughs> high heels <laughs> and grinds his, well, I'll say it, penis, <laughs> hammers his penis with a with a high-heeled shoe. Not the lo- Is that love? I don't know. Here's a little white snake on rawmikerichards.com. <laughs> Oh, I have a 
so goddamn good. <laughs> Marito's looking at this video like, what planet is this from? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's my band. I, that's the band I would be in. This band right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's a third song right there. <laughs> Morito. He's staring at the going, what am I, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> is this a, is this a porn I, film? But they got the clothes on. I want to go. Yeah. I want to leave. The guys, look, <laughs> the guys look like the girls. I, I'm I love confused. 80s porn. 80s porn was great. With a passion. 80s porn was great. I love 80s porn. Yes, I mean. Like white girls in the 80, in the, during the uh, 80s Don't get us started. See, that's another show with the hot 80s. Like that, like the, with the blonde, that, oh, come on, like hairspray hair. Yeah, oh, yeah. I oh. love that shit. The Seymour Butts. The crimp. Seymour Butts was a star. <laughs> butt man. I butt love man. that and stuff. Butt man. I used to love that See, shit. Chase Elaine, to me, was my, that was my girlfriend. Chase Elaine, who's Chase that? Elaine. Oh. Can we get a picture? Can you find a picture of Chase Elaine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, Ru- don't Ru- pretend you Ru- don't know Ru- who Ru- that Ru- is. Russell probably has it. Already. That was the worst <laughs> fake face <laughs> I've ever Green seen. Saber. Yeah, that oh. was the worst. What do you mean? Rush, bro. What do you mean, porn? What's pornography? <laughs> <laughs> Russell! What are you doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just put in the name. Put in the name. We'll, we'll, uh... Wait, with a J? Or... Oh, okay. Chasey. Chasey Lane. Yeah. Chasey Lane. Chasey. Not Chasey. You're spelling it wrong. How can you spell the wrong? S E Y, S E Y, there we go, and that's spelled wrong too. It's uh, there you go, not the song. L A I N. Just go, yeah, just yeah, and and just go porn. And then and put images, put images, but the later ones aren't good. Like she she kind of fell off the. Uh, oh yeah, put oh, the wow. yeah. See the, the, the okay. See the one on the white. Put, see the one in the pink. Go to the pink right at the end. That's that was in the heydays. That's that's eighties right there. And there she is. That was her right there. Okay. <laughs> not, not that. Not that. <laughs> what the hell was that? What's going on with you? <laughs> Russell, what's the matter with you? Uh, Russell, enough of your photos. Yeah, okay. So there, there, there was, that was my family hot, photos. Hot, hot was that was probably the nineties too, though. It might even be nineties, but that's but nineties yeah. was all right too. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're okay with that too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> now with the bloated and the tattoos and the rings and them going, I, I, I don't know. It's very I, different it's, now. It's not. It's uh, where was? Where's the romance? Where's, where's the, the romance? romance? Where's the where is this love? Where's the porn love? <laughs> Yo, okay. who's your favorite rapper? Can I ask you? Yeah, who's your favorite? Uh, I don't have uh, probably right now Kendrick Lamar or Travis Scott. Oh wow. Kendrick Lamar, do you know who that is? Oh yeah, I love yeah, Kendrick. He looks like a big Kendrick Lamar fan. Eh? <laughs> Mal- <laughs> Kendrick Lamar to you me. Make him sound even... like you just turned him into a Jewish yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The second baseman, number 12, Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> Nate, 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 Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. <laughs> okay, quickly, before we uh, head off yes. here, uh, your your schedule over the summer yeah. months, where are you playing? Where can we see you? Because we want to see you perform. I'm dying to see you perform now. Um, Talk to us. Yes. I'm actually performing on the uh, serious uh, Top XM comic um, on uh, on Monday. With Todd? Are you going on with Todd? Uh, no, no. No. He... Uh, no, no, but it's a, it's a yuck yucks. It's for the top comic. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the top comic contest and uh, the, uh, like a me, Keith Pedro, uh, a bunch of people are on that are uh, on that night. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good That's lineup. And which it's location Monday. is it? Yeah. Which, which location? Uh, yuck yucks downtown uh, Toronto. The, the downtown location. Yeah. Wicked. Um. Also, uh, me and um, running at the mouth like Keith Pedro, all those guys. Yep. We're gonna be at Field Trip on uh, June fourth, performing 4th. Uh, music at the comedy stage. See, this is why everyone loves this guy. <laughs> yeah, I love this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean that—that that is what a great. I mean, I just can't believe you're from Calgary. All yeah. these things, and you're working hard. You're and working them it too, up. Calgary, yeah. not yeah. just Latinos. Oh, no. oh yeah, like Northeast. Yes. Every time I put oh, yeah. something up, people, my friends from oh, yeah. the Northeast are like Northeast in the house. Yeah. You know? What was the mall? Sunridge. Sunridge Mall. There was Sunridge Mall. There was Marlboro Mall. Marlboro Mall. That's yeah. right too. Chinook Mall. Even though that was in the south. Yeah, like, yeah you're getting more you know, south. Yeah, you're getting. We still no, hung out there. That's. I think that's my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the whites live. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good lord. You know, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the calories like that. They're not that yeah. right Hermano, muchas yeah. gracias. It was Thanks, so nice buddy. to have you in here today. Uh, Marito Lopez, Marito Antonio Lopez, the hurricane from the sugar cane. I don't, I don't, I just, I just, I'm just making that up. Let's uh, get to this right here. Let's uh, do it. What a great time. What? Good week, Mike. Good week. Oh, a lot of fun. best friends. Yep. You want to go do karate in the garage? Yep. It's time. There you go. So check it out. Follow uh, follow him on Twitter as well. F Morito 
L. Yeah, and uh, Instagram. And no champagne poppy. No champagne poppy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Great time. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and again, it's been uh, a real cool week. Had a lot of uh, great people on there. Uh, it was nice talking to Bernie Nichols. What a legend he was. And Alan Park's story is just like ripping it up right now. So go to rawmikerichards.com, look in the archives to catch up on the stuff that you have missed. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, we'll be back on Monday with a bunch of surprises that you're not going to believe. Thanks for joining us. Friends. Yep.